Hey, what's up, guys? It's Extreme Brooks, and I got another Stalingrad update. So, this is gonna be a good update because a lot of the stuff that I, I did in this update, you guys asked for. So, this is gonna be. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a quick one, but it'll probably be like 10 minutes if I keep like talking on and on. So, anyway, I'll get right into it. So, last update, I said this is gonna be done. Um, not done yet because I decided I'm gonna do way more detailing work in this section before I move on to the next one. Um, so yeah, this, this section, this focus on, it's not like mass, like production of big stuff. It's just little things that amount to big things. And you'll see what I mean about that. All right. So anyway, last update, um, most of this looks as a, the same now, except for the really cool stuff. And I'll show you that in a minute. But anyway, I want to make this very detailed, but also on a large scale. So the thing about you, people making mocks is sometimes they're really, really big and like they look kind of like epic because they're really big, but they're not detailed, which makes them kind of like crap. And then if this one's really small, it's just not really that cool because it's like one base plate, but it's really detailed. I want mine to be big, but very detailed as well. So that's kind of a hard thing to go for, but I'm going to attempt it. Anyway, once we get done this uh, this update, we, st we finished all the rubble detail on the side of the factory. See, oh, see, see, very detailed. And it goes down the entire length of the factory. Second, we finished the trench last time, but I decided it's a very like shallow trench. So to add some extra cover for the Germans, I included like another um, layer of rubble for them. So it gets more protection. So you got some masonry brick mixed in there. And it goes all the way. So you have more, uh, more like rubble on the side of the trench and it goes down into there as well. And then another thing too, big thing, is that a lot of you complained, or not complained, but just commented, you should make the road look so straight. And I totally agree with that. I just didn't really know how to do it. Like, cause it's not, it's not like plates where it gets built onto it. So it's not a little more hard to build. Like, you don't really know what I'm talking about, but I'll show you. Anyway, I took your guys' suggestions and I did make the road much more jagged. The way it would look in real life, so you can see kind of differentiate all across. And the same thing on this side, so the road is no longer straight, so there you guys go. <laughs> and it looks much better now, you know. It's a little more wavy, the way it should be, in terms of the snow on the side of the road. And then we started some major, major detailing work on this section going down. So this is going to be a huge challenge. Not challenge, just a lot of time and parts. Um, where do we even begin? So on this side, I decided I wanted like some really thick rubble detail on the side and it had I got that down pretty good. So you see it's a lot of uh, a lot of brick so goes down pretty far. I got to about there. I'm gonna keep working for probably another half an hour to an hour and then go back upstairs and get ready for you know school tomorrow. Um, so yeah then over here we've got a fortified howitzer field cannon. So it's got some rubble in front of it. It's kind of buried in there. And we got a, a team and they're uh, two Germans and they're loading and firing around at the next section, which will be all Russian controlled. So you got the printed crate. See if we can get to the focus. Yeah, get the point. Anyway, got the howitzer. Let me see, what is that? The 10.5 centimeter, um, 1840, something like that. It was, it was in the box. Brickmania kit, really good. Anyway, um, we got some more Germans walking or marching to battle. See, so this guy's got a rocket launcher. This is some more Germans, MP40, Car 98. I've got a Tiger. And then another thing too is tomorrow I have the last of my orders coming for four more Tigers. I'm so excited, guys. Can't even tell you. So I got like maybe one fourth of the parts for four of these guys. So, so a lot of parts for the Tigers, the Brickmania stuff, so the the clips and the MG 34s. Just more parts. So tomorrow I'll be able to build four more Tigers. It'll be off awesome. You can have like all in a row. And um, then, let me see. So yeah, just a little more, just show you a little more of the overhead view of the detailing work. Just like a lot of like very thick rubble. And we got, I did mix some uh, little plants in there just to give it a little more color. And it just makes sense. Just like a little bit of like grass to survive the winter. Um, got a little chain right there. So just nice detailing work in there. And then the train track took me a lot of effort. This took a lot of work. I had to, I decided I, I didn't want white in between the, the rails. So I changed, I had to rip off all the track, replate it with um, light bluish gray plates to look more like gravel instead of snow. So I think it looks a lot better. And I did a lot more, and I now I'm detailing the, the, the railroad track even more. So very detailed. 
So this is what I'm working on for the past few days. Same thing down here. And we've gotten more, a little more final with the figures and the things like that. So we got German MG34 laying down fire. We got a Panzer III just, uh, you know, going over the tracks to go over to uh, help out over there. Um, there's more Germans running. Got this guy, MG, I mean, you know, MP40, who's just like wrecked that guy with the, um, the Russian right there. So his blood's spilling out. And he's got this German, and he's knocking this Russian's teeth in with, his, with the butt of his gun. And then I got my Brick Forge order in. I got, was able to, I got the Flame Trooper um, German gear. So we got this guy, so we got to light some people up. So we got a German Flame Trooper flame coming out. Just more more Germans running down that way, and same thing over here, same thing there. And then another thing too is I made, I thought the track should have something on them, you know, like uh, real cars, maybe three of them. So I, this this is really awesome. I, I didn't plan on making these. I just, one night I just had a lot of time left over, and I was like, I should probably make something for that. So. I was able to build all of these without building, I mean, placing one order, which is fantastic. Because having to order something like parts and have to stop a project for like a week sucks. So, I'll show you the, the rail cars. These are Russian, of course, at the Russian Star. Right there. Um, very nice looking cars. These look fantastic. Uh, and I did do three. They're all identical. So, three of them, they're all exactly the same. And I love them. Um, not too detailed. I mean, they're just rail cars. Nothing special about them, but they do roll. Um, so you got that detail, I guess, or aspect of it. And then they are loaded up with uh, black studs and black cheese slopes to represent coal, of course. And we got some Russians jumping off the, the car, and then Gaia, a gunner who's trying to ambush some Germans, will be here in the final mock. And. Um, yeah, so I'll give you a view from all this new section, not new, but more detailed in one second. I'll cover some other stuff in a minute. But, um, yeah, so now you can see just how much better that looks than last time. Just absolutely looks awesome. Very, very cool. Especially the cannon and all the rail cars right there look really cool. So this section needs to be detailed still, but this section is pretty much done. 100%. Uh, let me see. What else I've been doing? I did make uh, two things I wanted to make really bad. I want to make some Kubel wagons. Kubel wagons, I guess that's how you say it. Uh, these are just lightly armored vehicles used by the Germans during Second World War. And um, yeah, they just look, they're the Brick Mania ones. I didn't buy the kit, I just found the instructions online. And uh, yeah, I just love them. So I made two of them. Again, didn't have to make one order for them, which was fantastic. So, got them loaded with my German high command. So, these will be in the mock for sure. Very cool. Let me see. I think that's about it, actually. So, in terms of next update, I don't know. I just want to keep working on this section until it's perfection in terms of my eyes. Uh, so, I just want to do a lot of rubble outside the entrance of the factory and make it look really screwed up. Same thing on this side, and then maybe in about a week or two, we could begin on the next section, which is going to be a big task, but we'll get it done. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the update. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Definitely leave comments down below of uh, what I should do better, and what do you think I um, did good in this update. So uh, I will talk to you guys later.